What is a refinery? How does it work? Hello guys. Welcome to the Evolving Knowledge Channel. Today we will talk about fossil fuels, more specifically, how they are processed. I will explain the process of obtaining diesel and gasoline, among others. Let's get started. Have you ever thought about what material the objects around us are made of? Or where does the gasoline or diesel we use to fill up our cars come from? The refineries play an essential role in that. Refinery is the common name for oil distilleries that carry out the chemical process of cleaning and refining crude or crude oil extracted from oil wells. Crude oil is composed of several hydrocarbons with different physicochemical properties. It has little practical use if it not processed. In the refining process, the hydrocarbons are separated by distillation, and the impurities are removed, thus producing various petroleum derivatives, such as lubricants, asphalt, diesel, gasoline, LPG, naphtha, kerosene, aviation kerosene, and others that supply many industries. But where the oil comes from? Petroleum is found in vast underground reservoirs once there were seas. The oil reservoirs can be found under the land or the seabed. The crude oil is extracted with giant drilling machines named oil rigs. If the extraction on land is called onshore, in the ocean, offshore. Once the oil is extracted from the wells, usually, it is transported to oil refineries. Petroleum is usually black or dark brown but can also be yellowish, reddish, light brown, or greenish. Refining starts with the process called distilling. Distilling is the process of separating derivatives, the oil is heated at high temperatures until it evaporates. This vapor returns to a liquid state as it cools at different levels within the distillation tower. At each level, a container collects a specific oil byproduct due to the difference in weight. The lighter products do not require too much processing. The heavy ones take more time to become useful. But what is heavy oil? It is referred to as heavy because its density is higher than that of light crude oil. Physical properties that differ between heavy crude oils and lighter grades include higher viscosity and specific gravity and higher molecular weight hydrocarbon composition. After distillation, the heavy oil, lower value distillation fractions, can be processed further into lighter, higher value products such as gasoline. This process is called conversion. This operation transforms the heavier and less valuable parts of the oil into smaller molecules, giving rise to nobler derivatives. This increases the use of oil. The most common conversion method is called cracking because it uses heat, pressure, catalysts, and sometimes hydrogen to split heavy hydrocarbon molecules into lighter ones. The next step is the treatment. In this stage, the products are adjusted to the quality of the market. In one of these processes, for example, sulfur, one type of impurity is removed. Another example is to make the gasoline achieve octane standards. The final process is storage. The products are stored temporarily in large tanks on a tank farm close to the refinery to be later commercialized. Hey guys, we are at the end of another video, we hope you enjoyed it. For more educational videos in science and humanities, subscribe to the Evolving Knowledge channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.